everyone and welcome to Simon Reacts today. Myself, JJ and Vic are looking at the top 10 weirdest Japanese game shows. We love a game show, so potential video ideas here. And we love weird things, and that's why we have KSI here, to uh, make things Damn. weirder than they already are. So do you want to talk about sex, or what's up? <laughs> now I want to ask us a question. Go on, ask us a question right now. Okay, have you ever <laughs> eaten Japanese punani? No? No. No, I can't say I have. How about you? Oh, I have not. I guess you, you wouldn't really know because it's censored. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I don't know if it works for that IRL, but you know what? Let's, uh, let's, but I've seen let's the videos. <laughs> it's always censored. <laughs> let's get back on track, boys. We have hit the biggest tangent <laughs> so early on. Is this, does this even count as oh, Simon React? that's amazing. <laughs> Is this even Simon that's React? That's actually amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. No one in the world has seen an Asian Punani, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. All right, let's Even in real life, somebody. they're like, why is it both <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Japan is a country that is a lot- Pixelated! <laughs> <laughs> I don't it. understand what's happening. <laughs> All right, that's proper tickled me, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh. <laughs> For anyone tuning in wondering what is going on, it's a late night react. Usually we do them early in the day and it's a late night one. I think everyone's brains are fried oh, from amazing. busy days Jesus. and being humans. Right, let's actually react to a video. I don't oh, know what this video right. is so far. We'll take their game show entertainment what? to a new level. With everything from how a hot girl should wake up <laughs> to a game show that is like oh, this is song. Finish me, man. <laughs> Check out these 10 craziest Japanese game shows. Boiling Bath. Oh, what? what? It's not exactly known what how you play hell, this game, man? but it is people stripping down to their underwear. They do this and on Twitch, right? somehow cross a clear container, I mean, yeah. which is apparently filled <laughs> with boiling water. The game seems to involve some challenges and probably has the most bizarre rules of Wait, 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 wait. So there's boiling water in that bar. to get across. So Where's the steam? Isn't it? Question. If it was boiling, would it not have steam and be bubbling? Yeah. Well, I, I don't think if it was literally boiling, their skin would peel off like, yeah. you know, <laughs> in it. So it couldn't be literally boiling. Maybe it's just very warm. Anyway, let's watch. When a contestant strips down to her underwear and tries to walk across the boiling bath's frame to get across it. Oh, but two guys wearing bro. photos put an hey, yo. And push the girl in. Hey, yo. Things look a little hey, bit screwed. Yo. <laughs> is what draws a lot of attention and viewers. Another part of the game shows two contestants who are I'm arguing at the top so of the stairs confused. to the boiling bath, with the men ending up pushing the girl into the boiling bath. It's like Squid Game, <laughs> the guy and the girl. How rude! That's no. Why is this weirdly woman. sexual? But in Japan, weird game shows like this. I don't get the game popular. show. So, I don't think the narrator does either. A.K. Bingo. Oh wait, that's it. That is that's the game. That's show. The, they're just they're just playing around a, 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 a bathtub. <laughs> Honestly, I've, 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 seen, I've, I've seen weirder stuff on Twitch. <laughs> this game show is a bit like Dodgeball, but with a bit of a twist. There is punishment for the Oh, the cock broke one. Oh, my. <laughs> Let me guess. Only girls do this, huh? <laughs> Only females are allowed to, to do this. This was a perfect video for JJ of an easy <laughs> He is living his absolute Jesus best life. Christ. One of the punishments involves two girls trying to blow some creepy insect into the oh, oh, rim. Come so JJ on, would actually man. die. In this game, they do this on I'm a Celeb, right? Bug inside of her mouth. <laughs> that challenge is on I'm a Celeb, right? I think so. I think yeah. it's from this. Despite the scary thing, the girls are brave and challenge each other on the show. I'm going to be honest. It didn't look like they had much choice. Yeah. <laughs> By force. <laughs> Welcome to Japan. <laughs> One of you's eating it. <laughs> Spread your legs. <laughs> Spread your legs. <laughs> the name of this game is sure to raise some eyebrows, but what it comes down to is a contestant facing a torture machine, what? or in this case, a leg stretcher that martial artists use to stretch their leg muscles. Oh, the game damn. involves three girls. One of these girls spins a wheel. <laughs> One sits in the torture device and the other girl controls the machine. The number that the wheel lands on is how many clicks that machine will be manipulating. And what? Why are they all okay. just smiling? Why like, is it always just females? Because they understand how to get views. <laughs> are you going to watch this if it was Donnie's? Well, oh, I don't no. want to think well, about Well, I mean, I should be intrigued in because obviously, like... I'd be done for. It's pretty mad. My legs don't go beyond like 45 degrees. Yeah, you I'm see the, the girl human. in the background. That's a struggle. Yeah, yeah, genuinely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a... Stiff human being. Man, not even. Okay. No, actually, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. No, for fuck's sake. All right, let's just carry on. Oh, wait, dear. what? 
No, don't, don't worry about it. It's, <laughs> it's a fun twist on a game where you must answer the questions or be tortured. Yeah, wait, that sentence. It's a fun game where you must answer <laughs> the questions or be tortured. <laughs> what? I mean, if you, you know, the first few rounds of Squid Game are quite fun if you don't lose. <laughs> yeah, true. If you don't lose. Um, yeah, it's the same as this, you know. Losing you... is death, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but in this, they literally just said, you know, answer some fun questions or get tortured. Sounds fun. Nah, so it's a little bit better. So if you're good at the game, it's fine. What's in the box? In this game show, there is a group of pretty young girls oh. who have oh to put their God. hands inside Whoa. of a box that has something. <laughs> it's always women. Pretty young women. It's always. They, look, they know, they know what's up. They, they're ahead of the curve. Oh my. Right? Japan, yo. What's <laughs> going on? And their goal is to figure out what it is. <laughs> That's quite funny. The girl who is putting her hands so on the box is the other girls who get to see what's in the box. Yeah, yeah. If the girl can handle it and can figure out what she is feeling in the box and can tell the judges what it is, she wins. <laughs> Let me guess, the guy also is allowed to like, now nah, you know what, I'm not even gonna know. I'm not even gonna go down this route. <laughs> just, just keep the video playing, yeah, bro. Yeah, just yeah, keep yeah, it yeah, moving. Yeah, fuck it. The fun thing about this game is that it can be something trivial in the box, like a stuffed animal toy that moves, or a slimy and creepy cold frog. The suspense of touching something when you can't see what's inside is really suspenseful. And the uh -oh. reactions from the girls only mix with their imagination of what could be inside the box. A dick. <laughs> the bum game. What? This what? is a game what? that you will probably only find in Japan. <laughs> yeah, imagine, yeah. Imagine someone turns up to a side meeting and like, guys, guys, <laughs> we should do the bum game. <laughs> I mean, Harry literally tried to get us to do cock off. You're not it's wrong. You're not wrong, actually. Yeah. I'm acting like we're above this. We're not. Bomb game it. sounds kind of tame for us. Let's find out what it is. And it's an interesting game, uh, which doesn't really involve any skill. Oh, game. A game show with men. All right, let's go. <laughs> this very strange and funny game involves girls placing their bombs oh, in a mall, oh, which God is the same. only yeah. thing contestants <laughs> yeah. can see. Oh, of course. Oh, <laughs> how, have they, how have they done that? <laughs> <laughs> In a reverse car. Oh my goodness. Oh man, you can't make Don't know this the girl up, at all. Wait, you the can't make part about this, this up. Is that the objective for the players is to find out which rear end belongs to which girl. Don't tell me they have to feel it. No, don't, don't. No. And anything goes, including touching and kissing the girls behind. Oh, oh my god. My oh my god. How is god. kissing it gonna tell you which girl? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, well, my it's my who has what the rules of this game are, but there probably aren't many. What? What? Waking now? Nah, what the hell, bro? <laughs> I'm baffled. I'm so confused. Yo, no, this is a <laughs> waking up the hot girl. <laughs> bro, so bro, you know, I'm, obviously, I don't want to offend any Japanese people, but it sounds from all these game shows, it's just full of <laughs> like virgin men being like, hmm, how can we find a way to get with women without? <laughs> Put their butt in a mold and we can kiss it. Yeah, 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 without us having to do it in real life. Oh, we can just make a game show and it's fine. They got home, they're like, look, look, love, it was just a game show, okay? Yeah, yeah. I had to kiss the butt to know who it was, okay? I had to. That's the only way. A genius. Oh my, God. oh, my goodness. Here's a really cute and fun game in which a bunch of cute girls dressed up in their pajamas pretend they're asleep on the floor on a cute little oh mattress. My God. Judges then go around the room of attractive girls who are pretending to sleep and get to wake them up however they please. The way the person no. wins depends on how cute they are and how they wake up. What? If the girls aren't cute enough or don't impress the judges, what? they end up getting a pie to the face. And from the looks of things, the judges can be guys dressed up as a girl, which must be a weird rule of the game. So it's basically you facepalming ugly girls. <laughs> is that what it was? So that's what we're doing. Uh, it's basically what he said, yeah. He did say if you're not cute enough, you get a pie in the face. But <laughs> Maybe it's about that, you know, that acting ability, perhaps. I would I hope, know. but still, it's still, it's still so weird. It is so weird. Like, nothing men, nothing that has happened as in this women video so far is seems normal. Wake up women who are pretending to sleep. Let's just keep watching. I don't. And we're then not face gonna if We're not going to decipher it, are we? Like, let's just keep watching. <laughs> it's an interesting game, and in the USA, probably wouldn't last a week. <laughs> but once again, it's Japan. It's very popular, and it is an interesting concept. And who doesn't love to see a bunch of different ways a pretty girl might wake up in the morning?
Um, Let's go. I'll, I'll beg there's world. one normal one. Here. This is an interesting game show in which contestants really do get to travel the world. Okay. However, they have to endure some pretty strange things along the way. Oh. Most of the time, the contestants okay, must do fun. different things that would be included in a worldwide adventure, such as coming face to face with a dangerous and okay. wild animal. Okay. In one part of the show, the players oh my inside God. of a plexiglass enclosure called this the is Predator Box. Jokes. And then an angry grizzly bear is released who taunts the terrified Get human it inside Get of the plexiglass. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is unbreakable, right? And by the way, the contestant inside is required to film the event as it happens, and the reactions can be pretty amusing. That that was that, 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 bizarre. That one's low-key funny. That, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that seemed actually normal as well. Ish. It's a bit hard to figure out what is going on in this game show, but it involves a room of guys dressed as businessmen and a group of other people who are reading a script. When the people in the group reading the script run into a problem pronouncing a word, a group of masked bandits run into the separate room where the business-dressed guys are and apply a beating to their behinds with a blackjack-looking weapon. The humor what? of the show comes from the way the contestants are trying to say incredibly difficult American English words, and in this case, the state Massachusetts, which for a foreigner would be incredibly hard to yeah, pronounce. I, I feel for the humor in world. the game is contagious and makes for an no, incredibly I, fun I game. I understand game. that. I'm just confused why that makes... What? So there's someone else in another room that can't pronounce a word. So it's random masks... Uh, like masked people come in and I mean, it's kind ass. of like silent library in a way it's like in a in an abstract way but yeah I except think... you get beat yeah <laughs> i mean we all got <laughs> well okay well yeah i got yeah. whipped a bit more than the rest of you lot <laughs> oh yeah this one hold this on the wall show has actually oh, yeah. been around for a little while and is actually very entertaining despite the idea Contestants stand in front of a machine that pushes large <laughs> styrofoam pieces towards them, in which they must find a way to get through without damaging oh, wow. the giant styrofoam I puzzle piece. Win. Some of the designs oh, are so <laughs> hilarious on their own, without the comedy of how the contestant or contestants are going to get through it. Nice. We Touring. need to do that. Yeah. Yes. Here's an interesting twist on a game show, literally. Contestants on this show are put in a machine that the ancient Egyptians would have truly been jealous of. The machine has two spools of material which it spins around you and wraps you up like a mummy. Um, the fun begins when a one minute timer starts and you have to answer a series of questions and get them right to stop the machine from wrapping you up. A talking Egyptian mummy headdress animated character appears on the screen in front of the oh contestant gosh. and they must answer seven questions That's correctly actually terrifying. before yeah. becoming completely mummified. The funny thing is when the machine gets to the head and completely wraps the player head to toe in mummy material. In the end, an Egyptian sarcophagus <laughs> encloses the contestant That's terrifying. Bro, you're their done. End on the show. What the hell? Darrow Darrow. If you've ever wondered if a game show design from the movie Saw were possible, well, it looks like Jigsaw found the new gig. The game show Darrow Darrow puts contestants in different rooms and they are forced to solve puzzles or answer questions. At times, there is a freaky looking guy with a paper bag over his head <laughs> who appears and gives the contestant clues along the way. Each room has different challenges and the contestants need to figure them out quickly. One room leaves the players trapped in a room that is quickly filling with water, and they must figure out how to stop the water or get out of the room. Another room has a retractable ledge in which players must jump on a plank or fall to their doom. Well, probably a safety net. Then the planks start to retract and the contestants standing on them must answer a series of questions okay. to stop the plank from retracting. Everything looks dangerous in this game show, and the falls from the planks look like a bottomless pit but that is what keeps it popular. There is also quite a bit of humor between the bag-faced character and the that players. Scary. The show keeps yeah, everyone in continuous high-stress situations, <laughs> which also right. keeps the audience on edge. No, I assume we don't die. Even the thought of being in a room that is filling with water is terrifying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Well, Japan, man. Things, they, they definitely became more game showy towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It started off a little bit crazy, I can't lie. <laughs> Um, yeah, there we go. I guess some inspiration for future Simon videos, but hey, maybe, not you all. Say, maybe not all. Maybe not all okay, inspiration. Yeah, okay. well, well, we'll see. We'll see, bro. We'll see. <laughs> Basically, we need we need to find weird ways to bring women in our videos. <laughs> <laughs> we went from Sidemen Tinder to Sidemen Bum Game. <laughs> <laughs> Sidemen, wake them up. <laughs> oh, no.